Hi everyone, Anthony Morganti here. Those of you that follow my channel know that I mainly do photography related videos. I also have a few video related videos and over the years I've only done videos on one app that isn't photography or video related and that app is Clean My Mac. Of course, when we're running these photography post-production applications or video post-production applications, we need a computer that is running properly and running smoothly. And Clean My Mac really does a good job making sure that my Mac is running properly. And I've used it for years. Today, I just want to talk about a new feature in Clean My Mac. They've enhanced the menu. If we go up to Clean My Mac and I just click on the little icon here, you can see this menu opens up. And at the top, you see there's some recommendations. I could immediately run a smart scan or I could go to the assistant to get recommendations of what my Mac might need to run better. Uh, next to that, I could check the system for vulnerabilities. You know, it has a virus protection, malware protection built in. Uh, next to that, it's telling me I could free up 84.17 gigabytes of purgeable space. All I got to do is click right there. Uh, next to that is I could update my apps to get new features and higher stability. Uh, Clean My Mac monitors all the apps on my computer, and it will know when an app has an update available, and I could update that app directly through Clean My Mac. Next to that, I could review what data you are allowed apps to see and track, so that helps just my security. So if an app is accessing data I don't want it to access, Clean My Mac will let me know. Now below that, we have overview. You could see there's protection. I could see that my real-time malware monitor is on. I could click on this and I'll get some more information about the malware monitor. I could see that it is on. The backroom scan is on. I could tell me when the last time my malware database was updated. I could check for an update if I need to right there. Below that, I have some information about the actual hard drive. You can see that it's telling me how much space is taken up by applications, 108.9 108, gigabytes, how much by documents, images, movies, audio, other. It's showing the health of my hard drive, which luckily is good. The temperature of my microprocessor is 111 degrees. Also, you can see some of these have learned more here with the little arrow. If I click on that, it will bring me to a help page on the internet telling me exactly, um, explaining what temperature is and why it's significant and how Clean My Mac monitors the temperature. Uh, down here, we have some components. Uh, Dropbox is using 228.58 gigabytes of my allotted 2.01 terabytes. And next to that is trash. You can see my trash is empty and I could free it up directly from here if I wanted to. To the right of that, I have memory information. Uh, you could see that I have um, 49.71 gigabytes of my 64 gigabytes available. And then some more information about memory here. The pressure, um, this is basically the what's my computer doing. If it's doing a lot of tasks, it's going to have more pressure. And this would be higher. You can see it's very low. Uh, swap file there's information. Then it's showing the top consumers of my memory. You can see Dropbox is consuming 1.01 gigabytes on my memory. Uh, Creative Cloud is next and so on. You can see uh, below that. Over here we have Wi-Fi information. You can see my I call my, my network Morganti. That's pretty innovative. Uh, the security I'm using and some more information how long my connection has been and some uh, information about my speed and what it's good for. And I could actually do an, another test of my speed here. You can see there, just like that. And to the right of that, we have CPU information. If I click on there, it's giving me information about my CPU. Um, you know, right now it's barely being taxed at all. 97.4% of my Intel Core i9 blah, blah, blah is available. Um, how much is being used by the user? That's me. That's probably the recording and that I'm doing on my screen that's taking up a lot of, uh, you know, a lot of information, a lot of uh, microprocessor power. And the uptime, how long has my computer been on? Well, it's been on about an hour. The temperature is now 117 degrees. I could, of course, click learn more, learn more about it. The top consumers 
for my microprocessor. You can see mail is up there. I must have mail open. Yes, I do. And um, there you can ScreenFlow helper top. ScreenFlow is the application I use to record uh, my screen. And that's, uh, you know, obviously using the most uh, microprocessor power right now. And you can see as it goes down. And I could actually then, if something is maybe locking up my microprocessor using too much memory, there's some type of problem with that app, I could quit it from here as well by clicking on quit. So this is the new menu for Clean My Mac. Now if I just want to enter Clean My Mac, I could click right here. I could get into preferences over here. I could just quickly clean up 21.28 gigabytes of junk right here. Uh, normally I just click there and I open up Clean My Mac and it's telling me the new things that were added to Clean My Mac there. And I could do a smart scan here. Now I have done videos on this in the past, mm -hmm. so I'm not gonna bore, bore you with it again. But I do uh, highly recommend if you own a Macintosh to get Clean My Mac X, it's called, um, or maybe you prefer Clean My Mac 10. Either way, I think it's a great application. I have used it, um, I think from when I got my first Mac, which was a long time ago, I can't even remember. Um, I got Clean My Mac and I've relied on it to make sure that my Mac is running properly and running smoothly. That's it for this video. Thank you everyone who watches my videos. I really do appreciate it. Talk to you guys soon.